Wow! Cool. Hello, everybody. Brought back out of here from Universe of Adventures, www.universeofadventures.com. Go ahead and head on over to subscribe there. Of course, these videos take time to edit, film, money to do all this stuff, so I'd really love it if you would be able to subscribe to the channel, please. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all linked below. We're on TikTok as well. Go there, and then, of course, add me as a friend and untapped Brett Beer Adventure. Today, we are trying Dogfish Head's new Hazy O, Hazy IPA, New England style IPA. You know, I love this stuff. I've read a lot about this. This is apparently a really, really good beer, so I am so excited to be able to try this today ever since I bought it. I'm, I'm doing it for an untapped badge, and then I, as soon as I bought it, I'm like, yep, we're going to look forward to it. I mean, I'm, I was looking forward to it, so yeah. If you uh, see this, this is a, um, if it appears like it's a newly painted desk, you're right, it is. Thank you to my wife for uh, working on that project. So now I have a really nice desk. Behind me is going to start changing here soon. You're going to see that as well. But let's cut to the chase here and start discussing the Hazy O. So, Hazy O is the Dogfish Head um, Craft Brewery, of course, um, out of Milton, Delaware. And it is their New England IPA. It is 7.1% ABV, 45 IBUs. And you do get a badge for this one, which I will go into in a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look here. The description says, Hazy O starts with literally truckloads of oats and wheat for a full body. Then it's liberally dry hopped to deliver juicy tropical notes of citrus, mango, and pineapple. But the real stars are secret ingredients, oats. This Hazy IPA uses four types of oats, including malted oats, providing cloudiness and mouthfeel, rolled oats, creating silky mouthfeel, Naked oats, providing a subtle toasted and nutty flavor, and oat milk to amplify the haze and mouthfeel for a bear that is incredibly juicy and hop forward while being smooth and refreshing. Hazy Ale's silky soft, creamy mouthfeel makes it drink like a 5% ABV session sipper, even though it's a 7.1% ABV powerhouse. The average rating for this is fairly high, and even if you like a beer advocate as well, really high. It says that this is the first ever nationally distributed oat milk-centric IPA. Hazy O took almost a year of research and development to perfect. In fact, to ensure they harnessed all the goodness of oat milk and Hazy O. Dogfish Head enlisted the help of oat milk scientists from Elmhurst 1925, a family-owned plant-based milk producer out of New York. Using Elmhurst's culinary prowess and its unsweetened milk oats, made with only three simple ingredients, oats, water, and a bit of salt. Dogfish Head finalized the recipe for Hazy O and ooh, it is delicious. So as you can tell, you know, I like hazy IPAs, New England IPAs. I'm looking forward to trying this. So uh, we're going to just crack it open and see. Can looks really nice. Uh, actually, we're going to show you a, a close-up of the can right here. Yeah, look at that. It talks about the oats. Yeah, that could have went without the creepy talking, but okay, whatever. Anyway. We're gonna crack it open. We're gonna get going. See what we uh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting very tropical smell out of this. I don't want to mess on the new desk. So I'm gonna pour this out, do my untap photo, and then um. We're gonna roll with it. So as you can see, pretty hazy. Pretty hazy. Um, golden color. Nice white head at the top, fluffy. Love it. You can smell the oats, which I find absolutely amazing. I love that smell. I get a lot of tropical smell. It almost smells like orange juice, you know, kind of like the other New Englands that we've had. And I love that. Very tropical. Almost a little bit of a... I don't know. There's a lot that I'm seeing with this, but um, why don't we just, why don't we just dive right in? Sorry. Responding to something, but we're gonna dive right in. Um, wow, it's very sweet smelling and sweet tasting. Don't know if they use lactose or not. Of course, they use the oat milk anyway, so that would help with that. I am getting. Ooh, a whole bunch of tropical taste out of there. Not just the orange, obviously, along with the oats. 
I mean, the oats provide a great mouthfeel. It's pretty medium bodied, but those oats really do provide that. I'm getting some grapefruit. I'm getting some guava. I'm getting some pineapple. I'm getting all of these sorts of tropical flavors. And you know I love my tropical flavors, and I love my tropical flavored hops. I love my tropical flavored beer. So this is terrific. It does not taste as strong as it is, like it said in the description. Wow. The oats really provide a lot. Like you know, you know how oats provide for a um, an oatmeal stout. That's what this provides for for this to make it medium bodied, but a more thick variety of an IPA but still while being sessionable, which is just simply amazing. And then just all these tropical flavors combined. I don't know. This is, this is easily a five-point beer. To me, this is a 5.0 beer. I love it. One of the best hazies I've had. Um, gosh. What, what does Untapped even recommend for it? Let's see if it matches what I did. Because I'm, this is, whoo boy, that's a good one. So they are, um, their recommended flavor profile is citrusy. Yeah, we talked about that. Aromatic, obviously you could smell that. Bread. Okay, so I get the malty flavor, but not really over the top bread flavor. There's the malt, but the hops do provide the big backbone, the strong taste backbone here. Oatmeal, yeah, you can taste that as I said. Grapefruity. I'd even add, like I said, guava, pineapple. Um, a little bit of a banana, but not too much over the top. I think it's just because I'm tasting all these fruits in there that that's why all of a sudden I, you know, I feel like I say that, but pineapple and guava for sure. A lot of your more tropical fruits, even slight coconut. Like if you like tropical beers, this is you. I mean, the can even looks tropical anyway, you know, so, but, oh man, dogfish head, you, you did it. You did it. I mean, you've always, always made great beer anyway. Man, did you do it with this one? And now looking at the backstory and your whole R and D with this, and the way that you, you you made it is just absolutely stunning, and I love it. As somebody who also brews beer, that cutting edge, that R and D, makes me hopeful on a lot of our recipes moving forward because we have some some really big experimental ones up there, um, and we've been experimenting since we started brewing and. Obviously, if you're following along with the channel, you're going to hear a lot more about that farther on down the line. You'll also see it on the blog. Um, but yeah, Dogfish Head, thank you. Thank you so much. I love that this is available nationwide, or at least in my region. And I love that it is around year-round because I can see myself drinking this a lot more than just tonight. So this is... Wow. <laughs> just wow. That is amazing. You did it. If you ever get a chance to try Hazy O from Dogfish Head, make sure you go and do it. If you are a beer drinker, you will not regret it. I promise you. You might not give it a 5.0 like me. Of course, everybody has their different opinions. But if you like Hazy's, if you like New England's, if you like IPAs in general, or if you just like beer, this is one you got to try. Like, hands down. This is a terrific beer. And I've had tons of great New England IPAs out there. You know that. But this is a 5.0. Um, wow. Like, I saw that it was highly rated. I didn't know what to think. Because sometimes there's highly rated beers that I don't give good reviews to. Or, you know, I don't necessarily give bad reviews. I, I, I look at beers as how they are. You know, I've always said that. Um, or what they're supposed to be. So, but there are some that, you know, I, I've given... You know what I'm trying to say here. People have different opinions anyway. Um... But you know how I stand with New England's. Like, they're always very highly rated. And for this to be top, elevated right to the 5.0, that to me means it's a great beer. And this is a good one. Now, I'm going to let you guys go because there's only so many times I'll take a sip and then say, oh yeah, that's a good one. Because I let you guys know how I thought about it. But like, if you want the, to really be convinced, I'm just going to repeat it one more time. If you like tropical fruits, if you like tropical fruit taste in beers, if you like hazy slash New England IPAs, then this is a beer for you to try. If you like oatmeal stouts, 
this might even be a beer for you to try, as long as you can handle hops. Because, you know, some people don't like the, the super hoppy beers. This is an over-the-top hoppy. But if you like oatmeal stouts and can handle hops, this is what you would like. Because it's like reversing the oatmeal stout, but making it a hazy IPA. If that made sense. You should understand what I'm saying. Uh, you know, if you... Because it's made with oats. You, never mind. Anyway. Thank you for tuning in. Got lots more coming your way. Um, this should be beer 895 for me. I'm on the quest to 900. This is just on tap, on untapped, by the way. I've obviously had more than that. And this individual um, beers, unique beers. On the quest to 900, tomorrow I should hit that because I have a little special trip planned. Safely, obviously, because, you know, we still are in COVID times. Hopefully people are out there getting vaccinated. Stay safe, everybody. Um, but, yeah. So, we're on the way. All right. So, thanks again for tuning in. Your support means the world to me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up, please. I really would like the thumbs up. Thumbs up's really good. Like I said, it takes a lot of time and effort for this. So, this motivates me to continue to make more. And, um... I just want you guys to be along for my adventures. That's really why I created this. So thank you. Like, comment, subscribe here. Go on over to universeofadventures.com and subscribe there. Tons more posts coming your way there. And then all of our social media and the links below or in the description below. Links are there. So thanks again, everybody. Cheers. Keep it being awesome. Keep it being safe. And I will see you guys again very soon. for all the untapped stuff.